Looking to tighten the financial noose on Pyongyang, the United States has finalized a proposal to further isolate North Korea from the international banking system. Our Jim Young Gil has more. The U.S. Treasury Department has issued a final rule that prohibits U.S. financial institutions from opening or maintaining accounts for North Korean banks. It also requires that they apply additional due diligence measures in order to prevent North Korean financial institutions from gaining improper access to the U.S. financial system. The rule was proposed in June, whereby the Treasury designated North Korea as a primary money laundering concern. Adam Zubin, the acting undersecretary of Treasury for Terrorism and Financial Intelligence, says Pyongyang is using front companies and agents to conduct illicit financial transactions to support the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction and to evade international sanctions. The U.S. Treasury had previously used an anti-money laundering provision to target the North illicit activity like the 2005 blacklisting of Banco Delta Asia, a bank in Macau. Although the measure was seen as the most effective U.S. sanction at the time, the measure was lifted in exchange for cooperation on nuclear issues. Experts say the latest designation could have a greater impact than the Banco Delta Asia sanctions because it designates North Korea as a whole, not just one bank. Jim Young-Gil, Arirang News.